Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and we are here day one with our Apple Watch SE. Today we're going to cover installing applications, managing notifications, and app view. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. To install apps on your watch, you can go to the App Store. Here you can find various apps for your Apple Watch. You could even do a search if you're looking for a specific app. Another way to install apps on your watch is through the Apple Watch application. Just scroll down, and here it will show you all of the matching applications. I have these apps installed on my phone, but not on my Apple Watch. And you can just tap on install if you want the specific application to go into your Apple Watch. The third way to install apps is through the App Store on your phone. Just tap on an application, and if you scroll down, here it will show you if it's available on your Apple Watch. So this particular application, the Weather Channel, is available for iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Apple Watch. Next up is notifications. If you find that your watch is pinging way too much and you're getting all the notifications on your watch and you don't want them there, let's go ahead and show you how to manage them. The easiest way to manage is through your Apple Watch application as well. Just tap on notifications on the home page. From here, you can turn off various applications if you no longer need them on your Apple Watch. So I'll go ahead and turn off Notes, Home, and you can just go ahead and customize your Apple Watch notifications to your needs. On the top half of this page, you can also go into each one individually and customize it. So for example, Apple News, you can have it mirror your iPhone, or I'll go ahead and disable it. In my case, I don't need Apple News notification on my watch. And you can just customize those as well for every single application. For the last part of this video, we're going to talk about App View. So from your home screen, you can go ahead and switch out your applications and customize it here. And if you tap the side button, it will launch your quick apps. Now, the easiest way to customize these is actually through your phone. Here we are again on the Apple application. Go ahead and just tap on App View. And here you can see Grid View or List View. We currently have it on Grid View. Tap on Arrangement, and this is how my Apple Watch currently looks. You can hold one application and move it around, and it will sync with your phone. So if you want to customize this now, now is the best time to do it. So you can customize this however you like, and it will automatically sync with your Apple Watch. If you switch to List View, now that we switch to List View, all of the apps will just be listed alphabetically. For my personal preference, I'll go ahead and go back to Grid View. Earlier, when we tapped the side button, we showed you the dock, and here you can customize your dock. The applications you can add by just tapping the Edit button on the upper right. If there's one you particularly want, you can just tap the green to add it. You can reorder by holding the three lines on the right. And you can also remove an app by dragging it away from the top five or by hitting the minus and confirming remove. Once you're done, go ahead and tap on done. So here you can see we have three, activity, heart rate, and messages. And now when we tap our side button to activate our dock, we will have activity, heart rate, and also messages. The app store is there by default. You cannot remove the app store. All right, well, that's a quick tutorial on installing applications, notifications, and the app view for your Apple Watch SE. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Aloha.